Hello world. Mr. Resistor here, continuing our Alpha Nubro experience. Um, so as you can see, we've got another Proving Grounds day. Um, and I can't afford to do Proving Grounds, so we're going to continue with uh, knocking out our distribution mission tasks. Um, so, let's see what did we get today? Skill points. Go ahead and redeem those for later. Where are we at on our training? Still training drones. Very good. And Maybe we should double check our market orders before we take off. Um, <coughs> so, what do we have? That's good for sale. Metal scraps might be. Yeah, I think. If I remember correctly, Jita price is usually around somewhere between 800 and 1,000. Um, let's go ahead and say 1,200. Let's see, what else do we have? Might be worth something. And that we don't want for ourselves. Um, let's see. We're not going to be able to use these anytime soon, so... They usually fetch a pretty decent price. So, let's see. So he's only got two. Um, I think normally somebody buying these is probably looking for a set of five. Uh, so we'll use this guy um, as our sort of base price. And I think uh, since he's actually at a different station Maybe we'll just go slightly above him. Go for the uh, go for the convenience. Let's see. Actually, four eight. So sixty six. I might even call this an arbitration opportunity. <laughs> yeah, I think that's how we're good with this one. So we'll just buy those, and then resell. Ten, six, six, nine, two, oh. Cancel? Why did it not? Okay. Right. Yeah. All right, three more things.
That's quite a difference. So let's see. Uh, one six nine. Let's see if that actually sells. Be cool if it did. just hadn't updated yet. Alrighty. So, uh, agent submissions, distribution, and we're going level three this time. give us more ISK and more LP. Though not necessarily uh, active. LP with the uh, companies we prefer, but you know. <coughs> uh, beggars can't be choosers at this point, I guess. I may end up uh, cutting this video a little bit short. There is a forest fire in the area, and uh, while I'm not in any danger, it does make the air a little bit unpleasant. So we'll see if I'm able to continue talking. Check out our progress real quick. All right, so we got we got six knocked out yesterday, out of twenty. Um, just want to check out some. Let's see, navigation. It's advanced navigation. How far? Uh, low sec in five different regions. Okay. And Nullsec in five different regions. Warp drive active. drive active I have to say I really kind of like the look of the Minmatar industrial ships like I don't know I guess Minmatar ships in 
general have a very industrial look to them. Now that just seems especially fitting for the industrial ships. Uh, and I have to say, I really like the wreath, and the, the prowler is just a very cool looking ship, but I like the look of the wreath, too, and that's just kind of something I've only come to relatively recently. Warp drive active. For the longest time, I just kind of was like, uh, the wreath is dumb, and I'm all about the mammoth. Um, but I think, uh, really, once I got a prowler for my hauling alt, um, it's just such a pretty ship, and I think it really just kind of caused me to appreciate the wreath a lot more than I had previously. Warp drive active. Of course, it's not to say that the mammoth is not a good looking ship. Um, <laughs> although I do feel like maybe it's kind of lost its place. Um, I don't know. It's not really... I feel like it doesn't have the differentiation uh, that it used to compared to the wreath. Like, I feel like the wreath requested. was kind of like the cheap, accepted. you know, entry level ship, and the mammoth was the one that you wanted if you needed to move some volume, but uh, didn't have the skills or money for a transport ship. Um, but, I mean, I feel like their capacity is about the same now, so I don't know that there's really, really compelling reason to go with a mammoth over a wreath at this point. Uh, <clears throat> maybe that's something where I just need to, like, re-examine and play with some fittings or something. Um, but that's kind of where my thoughts are right now on those. Um, now, of course, if you're talking transport ships, then there is a clear distinction, right? The Mastodon is obviously your big volume. Um, <coughs> Like with, what, with full skills, you can get up to, uh, I want to say, 60, 65,000, somewhere in that range. Um, I'll have to double check that once I get, uh, when I log into my other character. Um. You know, so that's the... Orb drive yeah. active. Let's um, bring up the ship tree, maybe. So we're not talking out of our backsides. Right, so... Uh, mm, capacity is 3,500, so... A little bit more than the wreath. Um, yeah, and you can... 
you can bump it up in the same ways, more or less. Uh, let's see, does it have the same? Warp drive active. Oh yeah, Father's only got three lows. Right, so you can't get the same amount of capacity out of it. Um, just because you can't fit five uh, cargo hold expanders. Um, but you can get pretty close. I mean, I, I think uh, with the uh, with the hauler bonuses, let's see. Here, 5% to ship cargo capacity. For ship, uh, let's see. Yeah, cargo capacity at max velocity. Um. <coughs> Warp drive active. Yeah, so that's about the, about the same. Um, <coughs> I forget the exact number. I think I've got my Prowler's capacity is up to, I don't know, 13 and a half thousand, something like that. Which is pretty decent. I mean, it's certainly good enough to do um, any distribution mission, uh, at least up to level four. So, um, and it's, you know, it's a decent amount as far as just moving stuff around. Um, which I occasionally need to do. Uh, just gathering materials for, um, uh, for manufacturing. Warp drive active. So, um, so let's compare to the mammoth. Alright, so we've got basically the same uh, ship cargo capacity and max Docking velocity. Requested. Docking request accepted. Right, if we look at attributes, okay, it's got better starting capacity. 5,500 versus, was it 2,900 for the wreath? Fitting, same number of low slots. Okay, so yeah, so we would be able to get more volume um, out of this, but I don't know. I don't know if it's uh, if it's actually enough to justify. Um, to justify buying one when. Uh, <coughs> when you get two wreaths for free starting out. Um, I guess I'd ha if, I, if I really screwed up and lost both my wreaths, then that might be a... Uh, uh, a different story. So I'm going to set my destination back. Wait, let's see. Is this in the same? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so <clears throat> set our destination back there. So we can grab missions from them again. And you know, sometimes that's just kinda how it goes with uh distribution missions. I I like to daisy chain them uh, as much as I can. You know, but sometimes it just doesn't work out. You end up end up at a station with either no distribution or or like in this case um, with one that is not available to us um, yeah so anyway back to our Harrison here so let's see medium Okay, so Warp drive active. All right. Huh. 
Okay. So basically the trade-off here is um, the wreath has better tank, the mammoth's got better capacity. And yeah, I don't know. Um, <coughs> you know, at this level I don't know if that capacity is actually enough to make a meaningful difference. Um, at least a enough of a difference for me to choose a mammoth over a wreath at this point. I guess the other things we would want to look at would be speed. Alright, so we've got the mammoth. Warp speed is 3. Maximum velocity is 120. Warp drive active. Uh, does it have inertia modifier? So the Reese got a better inertia modifier. And better speed. Also, I have to say, I think the way they did the transparency on these is really That's interesting. Right. How we're, even though this is in the background, we're actually seeing through to the... Uh, the background rather not rather than to the thing that's behind it. I don't know. Not sure if I consider that correct or not, but uh, it's an interesting way to do it. Docking so yeah, permission for requested. Full comparison. Right. Capacity on the Mastodon is 4500 but you don't care about that because Docking that's not actually accepted. what you use um you use the uh <clears throat> uh fleet the fleet hangar which starts at 50,000 um and you get a bonus 5% level and transport ship. All right, so in this case, for the Mastodon, you're getting capacity and tank versus the wreath, uh, where you're getting um, speed and stealth, essentially. So, oh, and uh, yeah, immune to cargo scanners. Is an interesting ability, I think. Mm, okay, let's see what this guy's got for us. Alright, so we'll do that one first. And then that one. So that's quite a distance. Drive active. 
Um, so if you're new to the game, you might not realize these sort of engine and acceleration sounds um, around warp are one of the things they added relatively recently. You only really hear them if you're kind of zoomed in close. Warp drive active. But I have to say I kind of like them. Docking permission requested. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Distracted, but you know, we can handle one extra, especially for Minmatar Mining Corporation, which we're gonna want to get some LP with uh, at some point. We'll probably end up doing a bunch of uh, mining missions for them. Orb drive active. That said, since we'll be probably doing those mining missions in a venture, <clears throat> maybe it doesn't matter so much uh, <laughs> what our standing is with them. Because, I don't know, I haven't tried doing level 2 mining missions in a, in a venture yet. <clears throat> Seems like it should be doable. Um, maybe even level three. Warp drive active. Done. <clears throat> We've done too many level threes. Level fours, you tend to get into some huge volumes. So even uh. Even a fully blinked Macarial. Docking permission requested. Uh, often doesn't have enough capacity to hold all of the ore for a level four mining mission. Docking request accepted. This guy's just a level one, so we're gonna go ahead and complete this level three. Um, instead of picking that one up, since that's gonna be our big money mission. Orb drive active. So I believe that's, yeah, so that's. Ten down. What did they give us? Oh, 
shield operation. Do we have that? Yeah, we got that, so. Does this boost? Warp drive active. So it looks like what we'd get from this is some mining upgrades. I mean, navigation and warp drive operation might speed us up a bit, but... Looks like it's mostly gonna be <coughs> mining stuff. Warp drive active. We'll have to remember that for uh, when we want to do our mining missions. <coughs> oh, the smoke is starting to get to me. I think as soon as we complete this, I might have to call it a day. So, <coughs> for a tracking speed, Warp drive active. I have to remember that next time we're doing some shooting. Let's see, cap recharge, armor repair, and shield boost. We've got the uh, <coughs> Amar stuff, which, yeah, I don't know. Warp drive active. I suppose we could use it for the, uh, for the drone buffs. And gunnery, even if we're not flying our ships. That might be a reasonable use for it. But for now, I'll save it and, uh, you know, maybe. Uh, maybe we'll figure out something to do with an Amar ship uh, before it runs out. Actually, one possibility might be drive uh, abyssals. 
Um, I can't remember who the uh, who it was. One of the one of the bigger Eve Online content producers um, was suggesting um, starting ships for running abyssals, and I think uh, I think Amar were what they recommended for that. So maybe I'll go check out those those videos again and remind myself what they were. Warp drive active. That might be that might be a good use of that. Um, <clears throat> of course. But it only lasts for five days, right? Four days. So whatever whatever we decide to do with it, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to really have our ducks in a row and be able to get out there and take maximum advantage of it. So Docking permission requested. Yeah, something to, something to think about planning-wise, I guess, if we're going to try and actually run an Amar ship using this expert system. And, of course, being in Minmatar space, we're definitely not uh, in the ideal uh, area for buying uh, Amar. Docking request accepted hulls or guns so although I can't manufacture them on one of my other characters so it might just have to be like a <laughs> make the ship on another character and then and then uh, <clears throat> do a contract sale for market price or something like that Anyway, got 12 days to figure that out, so. But I suppose it's good to have a plan, right? My, uh, my software engineering professor always said that uh, failing to plan is the same as planning to fail. Chris, he also said that the reason we have a plan is so we can change it. So, yeah, anyway. <laughs> well, I think I'm going to call it a day before this smoke gets to me too much more and I end up just having to mute myself constantly or coughing. So, um, yeah. Until next time, have a good one.